Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Nicole again from Wildflower Valley Farm. Today I'm going to be working in the beehive just a little bit. Um, about three days ago, yeah, three days ago, um, I harvested a little bit of honey. It was the first time that I've harvested any out of this hive. And I only pulled three frames, but um, today I'm going to be getting back in the hive to do a little bit of um, maintenance and I'll show you what I'm doing once I get back in there and the sun just came out from behind a cloud and it's blinding me um, but once I get the beehive open I'll explain to you guys what I'm doing okay so I know every beekeeper is a little bit different so you'll see some people wearing full bee suits you'll see some people wearing nothing you'll see um, some like me that I just wear a veil I actually got this on Amazon for really inexpensive but it works great I'll put a link um, in the description down below for where you can get one of these but this is the only thing I wear when I'm working with the bees um, I feel like the bee suits are entirely too hot it's hot enough out here as it is because the best time of day to get out here is in the hottest part of the day when the bees are not really home um, or most of the bees are not most of your forages are most of your foragers are out and about um, and then I have some gloves some of the bee keeping gloves that kind of go up you know up your arm but my hands are so small that even the smallest pair of those is very cumbersome for me to work with um, so you know sometimes I'll wear them if I'm feeling kind of nervous about it for some reason but for the most part this is it this is all I wear um, it's cooler for me to just wear a short sleeve t-shirt I do have on long pants um, but this is this is how I do things um, on July 4th I got out here working in the beehive and I pulled three I pulled three frames of honey out of the middle box of my hive my hive has a deep super and two small supers on it and I purchased it this way I didn't put it together this way but I purchased a whole hive and this is the way that it came so that's what I have um, but I got in here to harvest some honey and I didn't want to harvest a lot since the two honey supers are small boxes and not big ones um, but they did have enough excess that I felt like I could harvest a little bit just to see what I could get and the frames that I bought to put back in here were the wrong size because I mistakenly thought that the supers that were on here were medium supers and they're not they're small so the frames that I bought these frames are for a medium super and as you can see by looking at the frames that came out of there they're too long this one is too long so I just left these out I knew that um, because it was a Thursday I knew that I would have an opportunity to get back out here today being a Saturday and put these back in here and um, normally you would not want to leave frames out of the hive and I'm not even saying that that was the right thing to do um, this is my first year keeping bees and so um, maybe it wasn't the right thing to do but it's what I did and so what I'm doing now um, after I harvested the honey off of these I laid them out here to let the bees clean all of the honey off of them and now I am just cleaning off the excess propolis and honeycomb and I'm going to put these back in the hive as soon as I get these clean and as you can see I am standing so close to this hive and the bees are not bothering me and um, I haven't smoked them yet my smoker is still sitting here ready and um, I will smoke them before I open it But at the moment, I have not, um, and I probably should not be taking that off of there. This part up here, I'm going to leave. It'll just kind of help give them a little bit of 
head start, not much of one, but it'll give them a little bit of a head start. But I'm going to clean the excess wax off of the outside of these frames and leave what little bit is left on the inside. My bees are kind of messy. The um, state of the frames when I bought this hive was not so great. I mean, they were healthy. They were fine in that sense. But the bees have made a mess of things down in there. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to pull these frames from the box that I did is so I'm hoping that it will um, encourage them to get back in there and clean up the mess that they have made. And if the bees stay calm, once I get the hive opened up, I'm going to clean the inside of the hive a little bit in the box that I'm putting these back into. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some, some burr comb in the hole that I left where these belong. So I'll clean that up a little bit. I'm going to clean this off of the bottom. They have built burr comb on the bottom of some of these. They've tried to attach it to the frames that are down below them in the brood box. And I don't want them to do that because it makes a mess and makes it hard when I need to pull frames out just to do a hive inspection. Okay, so that I've cleaned that up pretty well. You can see that I've left this here. The frame actually goes in the hive like this and I'm leaving this across the bottom and across the top of the bottom rail here um, just to kind of give them, a, It's like I said, it's not much of a head start but it's a little bit of one and will kind of encourage them to build in the correct place on these frames when I put them back in instead of trying to build it sideways or some such silly thing like they sometimes like to do. Alright, so let me move these out of the way and get my smoker lit and let's see what it looks like on the inside. I don't know if it's the right and proper thing to do, but every time I take off a box, I smoke the one under it if I'm going deeper. You guys are watching my channel for how to keep bees. That's the wrong channel to be watching for that purpose. <laughs> this is the first year, not the first year that I've had bees, but the first year that I've had a proper beehive. Um, and so I am learning as I go. I've watched a lot of YouTube channels. I have been to um, a beekeeping class. It was just kind of a... The class that I went to was just kind of a introductory type class. Um, but I have learned a little bit. I learned I actually learned quite a lot from that class. What I'm cleaning off now 
um, is the queen excluder. The bees like to attach burr comb from the combs that are up above this excluder, the box that's above it, to the excluder. They don't like for there to be too much empty space, and I guess the excluder makes them feel like there's too much empty space. And I'm going to show you all what they've tried to do in the hole that I've left. I can already see down in there the hole. The hole that I left where those frames should be. And they've glued this down tight. Um, propolis is what I like to refer to as bee glue. They use it to fill in gaps when they feel like there's a hole that's too big for something. And they'll use it to fill in any gap. And so they very often glue these parts down. But look what they've done. They've already been building honeycomb to try and replace you know, fix the hole that was left down in there. I'll have to get that off before I can put it back since I'm putting these frames down in there. Now again, I'm not saying this is the right and proper way to be doing this, but what I'm going to do to encourage them to kind of clean up some of the attachments that they have, I don't know how well y'all can see some of it, but they have attached um, some of the frames to each other with comb. I'm going to break that apart and I'm going to take those empty frames and I'm going to put a full frame and an empty frame and a full frame and an empty frame and I'm going to rotate those three back in here like this. Clean these off just a little bit. Smoke them again because I'm about to cause some upset within the hive here. And hopefully I'm driving the queen down deep in there. I'm hoping that she's not up on one of these. Um, I'm going to be very careful just in case she is so that I don't accidentally drop her out of the hive. I'm not really looking for her today though. Um, I'll look as I go just because I always do. But That's not the reason that I'm in here today. So if I don't, I'm not going to try super hard to find her. But just in case she happens to be in here. I'm hoping that the smoke will drive her deeper down into the hive. Like, like I said, since I'm not purposely looking for her today, I'm okay with her going down deep into the brood box that's down below. And if she's deeper, the bees up top are less likely to be aggressive because the worker bees that are guarding her and attending to her will be down deeper in there with her. All right. So I'm just going to pop this frame out. You can see that is mostly gorgeous honey. There's a, a few uh, about a fourth of it or so, maybe a third of it, is um, full of nectar and not capped yet. And then over here is kind of the same thing, except where I left those frames out, I knew there would be some of a problem. Where I left those frames out, they've tried to build this excess comb. So I'm going to very carefully try to remove that without disturbing too much of the rest of the frame. Unfortunately, it is going to make a little bit of a mess, but very carefully take that off. And then I'm going to put this as the outside frame over here next to the wall. Before I do that, let me clean some of this down here. I'm going to lay that right there for a minute till I can move it. I'm 
trying to move slowly and be gentle so that I don't harm the bees. My intention is never to harm the bees or to kill them as I go. It's always to be as careful as possible so as not to harm the bees as I go. All right, so that one's in there next to the wall and I'm gonna put an empty one beside it. And then they can work to their little heart's content to fill that back up with some more comb. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the next one. Pop it out, clean it up a little bit. There won't be quite as much burr comb on this next one because it had frames on either side of it. It did not have a big empty space. Again, that is full of honey on that side. There's a few uncapped sections, but the vast majority of it is just full of honey. And I've been told by some other beekeepers in my area that you want to leave a full medium super for the bees to winter over and since these are both smalls I'm wanting to leave a whole small and about half of this um, about half of this small one so that's part of the reason why I only took three frames the other day um, I will probably take some more maybe out of that upper hive instead of out of this one because the upper hive is all honey though there's no there's definitely no brood in that top one because the queen excluder kept her out of there if I'm moving slowly that these bees are pretty gentle they're not aggressive um, the few times that I have gotten stung it was my own fault it wasn't the bees being aggressive it was me not being careful That's lovely, that frame just came apart. Oh no. All right, so I definitely, since I'm just getting started, I don't have all the equipment that I necessarily need, but this frame is actually broken and I broke some honey. I actually broke the honeycomb when I attempted to pull it out because it's broken and um, most of the brood that's in here maybe all of it is drone brood I can't really pull this out and take it completely right now because I don't have another empty frame to put back in its place and it might be another week or more before I can get it so what I'm gonna do is stick this back in here and I'll have to open the hive up again probably next Saturday and pull this frame and replace it with an empty one to fix it um, by then all of these I might wait a little longer than that to give them time to cap this nectar I'd hate to lose all of the honey that's on it just because some of it's not capped but any of y'all beekeepers that know what I should do differently tell me um, but this is broken so I'm gonna have to replace it I might be able to fix it but clearly I can't fix it while it's covered in honeycomb. But it's gonna be, today's Saturday, it's gonna be Monday at the earliest before I can get to any place that sells frames. Alright, 
so it's in here it's not in good shape necessarily but it's in here I think I can put the top back on it I think we'll be all right I'm gonna take this this is just pure burr comb and I'm actually trying to learn how to um, melt down the wax so I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna replace this other back on top I'm saving these two it's just pure beeswax When I learn what I'm doing, I will do a video for y'all on how to melt this down to do something with it. Right now I'm still learning and I'm not going to do a video until I figure it out because there's a learning curve. And I'm not quite ready to uh, tell y'all how to do anything because I don't even know myself just yet. Alright, so... Alright, so I'm going to turn this back over the correct direction here but I will show you all what these upper combs look like these are all honey the the queen can't get up here because of the excluder so these are all honey And they look they looked beautiful the, the other day when I looked at them and that one is coming apart too I don't know if it's the heat or what but I'm not gonna pull that one out because it's trying to come apart when I go to the store that sells just the frames um, tractor supply does not carry them in the store at least my local one does not when I go to the store that sells just the frames they come in packs of 10 so I'll have enough to fix whatever needs fixing and maybe I can um, or to replace what needs to be fixed and then I'll see if it's possible to repair the ones that are broken but see that is just full of gorgeous honey it's capped it's beautiful both sides and based on the three frames that I pulled, I'm going to estimate this to be, believe it or not, almost a full quart of honey. Probably not exactly, because I know every frame is going to be different. But that's just an estimation based on the three frames that I pulled on Thursday. And since they have done such a wonderful job of filling up th these two boxes, when I open it back up to fix these broken frames, I'm going to give them an empty box to go with it. Alright, so that's all I'm going to do in here for today. My goal today was just to replace those frames that I took out to harvest honey. I do have pictures that I will include in the video. So far this hive seems very healthy, very active. It was an established hive when I bought it. Normally you don't want to harvest honey the first year, but what I bought was an already established hive that had wintered over from last year. So they already had this, this hive was completely full of comb, all three boxes were completely full of comb and mm, these top ones, um, were completely full of nectar already when I purchased this hive back to around the end of May. So that's why I felt comfortable going ahead and harvesting honey this soon. You know, the first year, like I said, normally you don't do that 
with a brand new hive, but this is technically not a brand new hive. It's just new to me. So, I'm going to put all this back together and go inside and cool off because, man, it is hot out here today. Alright, so while I'm putting my equipment away, I'm just going to let y'all watch the ladies do their work. 